Hello friends, welcome to my maths class. Let's learn about geometrical ideas, class 6 maths, chapter 9. Questions, identify the intersecting and concurrent lines. Here we need to find out the intersecting lines and the concurrent lines and also points, point out of the intersection and the concurrence. Let's see now, intersections will have two lines but one common point like here two lines one l lines one is the m line one have the common points now we need to find out in this figure intersecting lines now the first intersecting lines will be m and p so m and p so they are intersecting over here so this is the m line and this is the p so right m and p m and p so this is one line this is this is another line they they put together intersecting over here another one will be l and p they are intersecting here l and p so the next one will be m and n so this is the m line and this is the n line they are intersecting over here this is a common point so m and n the one more one more intersecting line should be p and n so p and n so this p and n they are intersecting here p and n so one line we go the intersecting lines we got first one is the m and p the second one will be l and p the third one will be m and m and n so m and n over here then last one will be p and p and n so intersecting over here this is the common point so intersecting lines is clear now now we have the concurrent lines. Concurrent lines will have three or more lines but have a common point. Maybe concurrent lines like here, this is the point, this is the point, then three or more lines will pass through. They all pass through the they all pass through the this common lines. Okay, this, this is a common common point, then pass through three. But more, more can pass through this common point. So that is called the concurrent lines. Like that, we find here over here is the P, L, P, L, and N. P, L, and N. They are intersecting here. Right now, this is the common point. Through this common point, they pass through these three lines. At least three lines has to pass through these common points. Like L is passing through this common point. M is passing through this common point. Again, N is passing through this common point. So let's write that's why P L P L P L and N. So they are all passing through this common point P L and N. So this is the simple solution of question number four. Let's go ahead with the question number five. Let's see now. From the given figure name, two sets of collinear points. Now, collinear points will have three or more points lie on the same line. Like, okay, this is the collinear point. Now, now th this can be collinear points. This can be collinear points. Like, this is also again collinear points. Look here now. Point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. Here also point 0.1, point 0.2, point 0.3. They all lie on the same lines. They all lie on the same lines. That's why it is called the uh, colonial points non colonial will not say, not lie on the same lines these points so two sets of colonial points will, for the first one will be c c i d the first one will be the first answer c i n d c i n d so this is the first set First set is over. The next set will be maybe A, 
E J F E E J F E J N F this is the one set of colonial points and second set of colonial points so this is over now i'm asking question number two line containing point a so where is the point a now point a so line line containing point a in this point a we have the line like a and b so a and b is the answer so question number two the solution two will be line containing a will be this line so a and b a a b so line how do you write because they are asking the line so line will be written this way as i have explained to you already in previous in previous questions now they have the line passing through c line passing through c line passing through c now where is the c c is here so line passing through c will be c d so question number three will be c d so again they are talking about the line so line has to be written this way the sign line passing through c now one pair of intersecting lines one pair of intersecting lines as we know intersecting lines will be like this crossing they will have two lines but are passing through the common point so maybe okay common point so two lines this is these are two lines passing through this common point this common point so intersecting over here one pair of intersecting lines will be a and b a and b is one a and b this line will intersect this line or this line any of this they are asking only one pair so a and b question number four will be a b a b and a b and c d or we can also write e f but let's write c d that's more cl closer in alphabets c d so they're all asking about here about the uh, intersecting lines so line only so all talking about lines finish the last one two rays with initial point j rays as we know ray has the one initial point and this side will be indefinite lines can extend indefinitely maybe okay let us write here p maybe point here maybe q okay this side can extend indefinitely this side cannot be extended because this is the initial point that is the way of you that is the way we write the ray the sign of ray will be like this one side can extend the other side cannot extend this is the initial point so they are talking about the two rays with initial points j so we have to find out two rays which start from the j so j is here one if we start from here then it will be j e or j b the answer will be j j j e how do you write the uh, how do you write this uh, race race will be written this way the sign will be like this okay and j b j e j b initial point that's it can extend so j b this is the these are the simple solutions of these two questions four and five let's go ahead with the another questions thank you